Didn't see you there. Welcome to Book Nick with Heidi. I just got finished reading the science fiction novel, Cat's Cradle by Kurt Vonnegut. Come on in, I'll tell you all about it. The intro song here. Welcome to Book Nick with Heidi. Boom. Let's start with a brief synopsis, shall we? Where was I? Oh yeah, synopsis. All right, so basically there's a man who is pretty much unnamed throughout the entire book, which we'll come back to later. Uh, but he's writing this book about the man who created the atomic bomb. So this unnamed man starts traveling around the world to interview the friends and family of the man who created the atomic bomb and while he's on his journey he learns many lessons about himself and uh, of humanity as a whole and um, he ends up following this religion this journey forces him to follow this religion and um, that's pretty it, it's a pretty unknown of unknown of not very well known religion and um, in the middle of all of this, the world ends. And we see what, how that affects not only him, but the world and humanity and how everyone deals with it. And it's, it's pretty interesting, actually. It's pretty interesting. And um, uh, another theme is, uh, the most important one in my opinion, is uh, human nature and how, human, like, how humans act. Um, human behavior as it is and uh, I think a big part of uh, Cat's Cradle is human stupidity and what humans will do out of greed and out of like just fear and out of love and like what humans how humans act when certain problems or scenarios are presented and I think that that's a huge part of things about okay I'm just gonna cut this out because that makes no sense <laughs> Where was I? Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and explain the likes and dislikes of this book. There were many enjoyable qualities about Cat's Cradle and the writing of Kurt Vonnegut, but uh, one of my likes is that the, the themes that were presented in the novel. Um, so there was lots of themes that were presented. Uh, one of them was, or many were demonstrated by the main character, as well as some other side characters but uh these themes include uh the danger of technological advancement which is presented through the atomic bomb and uh what it ends up not only the atomic bomb atomic bomb but what the inventor of the atomic bomb ends up also inventing and what that does to the world and we can infer that that's probably what ends the world let's read a passage that is a prime example of human nature. In the beginning, God created the earth, and he looked upon it in his cosmic loneliness. And God said, let us make living creatures out of mud, so the mud can see what we have done. And God created every living creature that now moveth, and one was man. Mud as man alone could speak. God leaned close as mud as man sat up, looked around, and spoke. Man blinked. What is the purpose of all of this? He asked politely. Everything must have a purpose, asked God. Certainly, said man. Then I leave it to you to think of one for all this, said God, and he went away. What I think this means is that humanity and humans think that they need to know everything 24-7. They need an answer to every single question, every single problem, every single thing that's here we need to know, we need an answer for. And there's things in this world that cannot simply cannot be explained and there's things in this world that we do not always need the answer to but humans it's, it's in our nature it's 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 us it's like what makes us us we question everything we have to have the answer for everything and that's normal for us but some things just don't need an answer and we are not able to grasp that concept so another thing I liked about the book 
is the inner workings, per se, of the book. How connected everything is. Uh, the cat's cradle, it, everything symbolizes something. Everything means something. And everything is connected. So it's almost like finding clues throughout the novel. And then at the end, you piece them all together. And it's, it's, it's amazing to see every single clue be presented. And you have to analyze it and see where it fits and it clicks and it's so interesting to me to see every single one of those pieces click now along with likes comes dislikes now there's not a whole lot of things that i dislike about cat's cradle overall it was a great book and i i enjoyed it very much um one dislike i would say uh is the scene changes and the time changes that uh vonnegut puts in there um and that, that's more of my fault, the way I read. Uh, it was confusing sometimes to, to for the time changes and the Vonnegut style. <sighs> Speaking of the other, Kurt Vonnegut, in my opinion, is an excellent writer who has an excellent writing style. I feel like it's very unique and very beautiful, actually. Um, a passage that I think clearly represents this is, um, on page 169 um, uh, it is um, people have to talk about something just to keep their voice boxes in working order so they'll have a good voice boxes in case there's ever anything really meaningful to say now I think this quote is really beautiful actually and it kind of kind of seems stupid but if you think about it it makes a lot of sense um basically he's saying that people just talk just to talk and most of the things they say are completely meaningless and they they're just stupid most of the time and but he said that people have to do this because whenever they actually have something real to say they have a voice. Another passage. Pa passage. Another passage. Mm -hmm. Another passage. Mm, yes. Passage. So lastly, I would like to um, recommend this book, Cat's Cradle by Kurt Vonnegut, to anybody who likes to make connections. Anybody that likes to think about human nature. Why humans do things the way they do and why. And like what humans do when uh, certain situations are presented. Um, it's definitely for the person that likes to solve puzzles almost like people who like to think deeper meaning wise people who like to question things and uh think of new ways think outside the box think of new ways to think yeah heidi's book nook oh oh my goodness would you look at the time that's all the time i got for you today folks thanks for stopping by it book nook with heidi i hope you really didn't pick up cat's cradle by kurt vonnegut it was a really good read hope you pick it up thanks for stopping by have a great day